Hey everyone and welcome to another Brawl Hack Review. Sorry I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I just haven't really been motivated to do one. Uh, I was going to do Skull Kid next, but instead I've decided to do Goku by Mario DK version 0.9. So without further ado, let us begin. Uh, this is the way animation, animated by Tor Mod. It's pretty smooth, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, it's a nice representation of Goku. One of the few main ones in the hack, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Um, most of the basic animations are still Captain Falcons, like the running, the jumping, etc., etc. Um, they don't have to be changed, but it'd be nice if they were. Crouching as well. The dodges are the are after image dodges. You probably ca you probably can't see them, but he's actually sort of flashing back and forth because it's in the space of like a frame. Um, it's very hard to see. But one of the main annoyances about the um, after image dodges is the fact that they're really slow and clunky and they don't actually interrupt very quickly. Anyway, this is the AAA combo. Um, it's Falcon's two punches and then it's Fox's kicks. It's actually quite hard to use but it does decent damage and it gets the job done. Uh, it would be nice if it was like a bit more Dragon Ball-esque, but whatever. Uh, this is forward tilt, still Falcons. Um, this should definitely be changed. Um, up tilt is Lucario's up tilt. And the down tilt is also still Falcons. Now onto the forward smash. Um, a lot to say about this move. It's just, it's been there since version the first version, and I just think overall it's clunky, and it doesn't look that nice. And it's it's not dynamic enough. And also, if you look carefully, his hands don't come out in the proper position. One comes out like above, and the other comes out below, rather than sort of both of them pushing out from below, which is, you know, naturally what you would do if you're pushing out something. You would do both of your hands would do the same motion rather than one coming up the top. This is the up smash. It's his flip kick, which is actually from. A lot of the Mario PSAs, like um, Kate Mario, SMBZ Mario. This Goku has a lot of Mario's moves for some reason, and a lot of them, in my opinion, don't quite fit. Especially because um, they've been nerfed a bit, but you'll see that later. This is the down smash. It's lacking in the sense... The animation's decent, but it's lacking in the sense that it doesn't have decent graphics, and it doesn't have any sound effects, which is the main problem. And quite a few moves have this problem, in particular air the aerials have this problem as well. It doesn't have a sound effect, so the presentation is, you know, a bit lacking. It's a lacking overall in this PSA so far. Anyway, this is the dash attack, it's a lot like Fox's, comes out quickly and um, I think the animation is Fox's as well. It's quickly and quite hard to punish, actually. But yeah, that's the dash attack. And now... Onto the aerials. Neutral air. Um, this is the same as Mario's neutral air. I don't think it's quite as quick, and I'm not sure if it does the same damage and knockback, but um, does nine percent with six percent um sex kick hitbox. Um, this is the forward air. Uh, the animation is all right. It's nice and smooth, but the hand movement's nice and smooth, but it's it's very easy to use. I think the meteor smash is powerful, and it comes out quickly compared to a lot of um. Meteor smashes. This is the back air. It does the same damage as Mario's, except, and it's the same animation, but there's one main difference, and the fact that it doesn't interrupt like Mario's. So, overall, it's nowhere near as useful because you can't do that sort of pressure that Mario can with it. Uh, this is um, Fal um, the up, up air, same as Falcon's. Like, exactly the same. It does the same damage, same knockback, same everything. And this is the down air for um, these kicks, which is from Lucas's down air. It's quite hard to use properly, actually, I found. Um, because the hitboxes are rather small and they're only on the legs. In fact, I'm not even sure the legs, it might just be on the feet. But it's hard to use, definitely. And uh, it's not that rewarding. On to specials. Neutral B is the Kamehameha. Uh, it can be charged up for three levels. The third one, obviously, being the most powerful. Um, hmm, this one's uh, the charging bit is fine, 
It's just the release doesn't look right. His hands don't look quite in the right position. And the release isn't quite dynamic enough. Like, I think it's sort of... Not quite as dynamic as Mario's Final Smash release, but it should be kind of dynamic like that. I also found the move to be surprisingly spammable because of its complete lack of end lag. Like, it's amazing at just... for camping and just keeping enemies at bay because of its massive hitbox. It's Final Smash like hitbox. This is the side tilt. It's Falcons, except if you hold B instead of um, just, you know, letting it go, you do this kick at the end. I didn't find this particularly useful, apart from the fact that it has a long-lasting hitbox. I found it a lot more useful to just go up, drop, and then do an aerial, as you can see there. And in the air, it's literally exactly the same as Falcons. No difference whatsoever. Um, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's exactly the same. Without the fire. Both of them are lacking the fire, obviously. Um... Now onto the up B. The up B is the instant transmission. It starts off with this kick. It's dead, but um... I'm not too sure... It, I, I would have thought it made more sense for the kick to be at the end, rather than the beginning. It, it's a bit confusing it being at the beginning. It's not that useful. But um... This is the move that I thought was the best thought out. The best... The one that works nicely and that fits the sort of Dragon Ball moveset. Um... Because of the fact that it's omnidirectional, and because of the fact that it can be ground cancelled and it cancels at the end into like any aerial or any aerial attack, which is really useful. Um, and it helps Goku's approach a lot and it makes him overall more fun to play. I think that was probably the best move out of the moveset as far as like an actual gameplay thing goes. This is the down B. It's <laughs> he teleports up and does his Kamehameha down um, downwards. It's really good. In the air, um, he's able to stall like this. It doesn't come out unless the foe is near, unless he's near a foe. Um, so, otherwise, he sort of just stalls there. Once he uses the move, he can't recover at all in any kind of way apart from a double jump. So, um, yeah. These are his taunts. That's the side taunt. This is peace out. Uh, the up taunt, where he does, um, he stores up energy, and that energy is used for his final smash, which we will get onto later. And the down taunt activates KO Ken. You get this cool fiery aura, which I think quite, looks quite nice. And all of his attacks are buffed up at the price of, um, you know, you taking damage per attack. The problem with this is that if your opponent is clever, they'll they can start playing defensively. And because you feel the need to sort of start attacking because you um, get increased power, um, you will steadily, and by steadily I more mean rapidly, build up damage over time and then your opponent can take advantage of the fact that you're building up damage constantly, play defensively and then strike you with a, um, like a strong blow once you're on high damage. Another thing that I thought was rather weird was the fact that the forward air, um, Despite being his strongest aerial, is the one that gains the least recoil damage from the KO Ken. I thought that was a bit weird. And his Kamehameha gets a big buff. Use down taunt again to deactivate the KO Ken. No, 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 crowd! You should be cheering for Goku! Not Captain Falcon! He's not even in the game! You steal the crowd! Anyway, and the final smash is the Spirit Bomb. It's a really cool looking move, but it is really, really strong. Um, there's two types of Spirit Bomb actually. There's the one that, there's that one, which he's, the one he does in the Boo Saga. Except he doesn't go Super Saiyan, but um, yeah. And then there's the other one, which is the one he does in the Vegeta Saga, which is this, against Vegeta. It's a totally broken Final Smash. It's so easy to use. And it's an insta-kill that does 100%. That just needs nerfing now. Because once you use it, um, your opponent's stuck in time manipulation. Anyway, on to the battle. Now, as for my actual sort of, like, compliments and criticisms with Goku, um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, my main criticism that I had with, like, the Super Mario Bros. Z moveset that um, 
Mario DK also did was that it didn't really capture the feel of, um, you know, Mario Bros. Z. It didn't capture that fast paced feel. But, um, on the contrary, it was a really quite a fun and diverse moveset. The problem with Goku is that he's lacking this, um, diversity, but he's also lacking this, um, element of Dragon Ball Z, that sort of fast paced, action packed feeling. But, um, it doesn't quite represent him well, and, you know, some of the animations could be tweaked. You know, it needs overall better presentation, I think, as well. Now, you guys are probably thinking I'm being a bit too harsh on this, but, you know, I'm trying to... I'm, it's still in its beta stages, technically, so I think all this criticism will help develop the project into something more. You know, because I like Goku. I like, um... You know, he's a staple Dragon Ball Z character. And he deserves a really good PSA, in my opinion. Uh, I think a good way for him to capture that Dragon Ball Z feeling would be for him to actually... If you look at Project M Lucario, that is a fantastic example. I mean, look at his demonstration video. I might even put the link to it in the description. But that is an excellent example of... Um, how a Dragon Ball Z moveset could really work in Brawl. I mean, there, it has this system called um, on hit, this on hit cancel system, where if you land an attack, um, you can cancel it into another one. So jabs cancel into tilts, tilts cancel into smashes, stuff like that. It's a really cool system, and once, you know, Project M, the next version of Project M comes out, I think I'll probably take a look at it myself and maybe you know do, do a sort of Dragon Ball Z moveset based upon that I was originally going to do a Kid Buu moveset and then I dropped it but um, you know once Project M comes out I might actually pick it up again you never know <laughs> but on to the battle we got Goku versus Spider-Man versus a dead zero versus um, Meta Knight as a Darth Vader costume I've always loved this costume it's just really well made. Um, it's by Akarian. He's a fantastic texturer um, on the Das Donkey team, and he always has been. He's one of the few um, like really good texturers out there. You know, in a day, of, in the days nowadays, it's all about model editing. Um, it's nice to see people that can make really, really good textures. Oh God, we've got frame skips. Oh no, they weren't. They 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 were only brief. Only temporary. And now I have to hit the character. And Spider-Man's being stupid. Um, a couple of the new changes. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was in this video. I wasn't even watching. That I had done with my Spider-Man hack. But I haven't uploaded it to the vault yet. The ball vault. Um, is that he has new throws now. But they don't have graphics. His forwards, back and down throws have been changed. Two of them are web throws, um, in namely the back and down throws. And it's the camp battle of the season. Who will win? The web ball or the Kamehameha? Goku makes his move. He does. Oh, and he gets smacked by Spider Man's forward smash, and he gets smacked out of here. But will S Doom make the comeback? It's still 2 to 1 in S Doom's favor. Oh, he's getting hit by the. He's getting hit by those web balls. Spider-Man is all over Goku. Oh, but Goku is making a slight comeback. And here we go with the Kamehameha, which completely misses. And I, why am I doing this crazy footballer stadium commentary? I don't know why I'm speaking like this. I shall stop now. Okay. Um, the one throw that I didn't change with Spidey was his up throw. Actually, I increased the damage of it. And there we go. That's the end of the match. Because that move is very good. So, um, I apologize if I wasn't quite as entertaining in this video. I, I wanted to get more of the constructive criticisms out this time. But, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.